Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about Zoho CRM and how easy it is to set up and use and the best part about it is absolutely free for three users for what we're going to do. So we're going to walk you through all the different ways uh, of jumping around and tracking all your sales leads, uh, potentials and uh, keeping on top of all your account uh, customer information. So to jump straight in we're going to go straight to add a lead. Uh, leads are um, individuals or representatives, it says right here, or organizations who show interest in your products or services. So this might be um, you've heard that someone's interested in, in something that you're selling. So our fake business is Blue Jean Security. It's a security company that doesn't exist. Um, and we're going to enter a lead. So we can um, go into create lead here, or we can go to leads, or we can add up a new lead. The best thing about Zoho is uh, there's plenty of different ways to get to the same place. We're going to put a new lead in. So it's going to come up uh, the lead owner Paul Nicholson, that's me, uh, and it's going to ask some basic information. So to get some random information I'm going to go to Wikipedia and see if I can find some random information. And here's one, Omar Walcott. So we've heard that Omar Walcott, we're going to put him in as a company because he's an individual um, his first name, I'll say Mr. Omar Walcott. Uh, at this point, you might not have his email, you might not have his phone number. Uh, I'm going to say his email is omar at walcott.com. Uh, and there's definitely plenty of information you can enter in there. Description of this um, lead uh, Mr. Walcott is thinking about a burglar alarm and save so straight away um, we've got some information that, that um, this person's interested in something and we've got him in our system so we know that we've began to track um, that lead so he's in our database now um, we may already know that we've done a quote or we are we have a potential, we have a customer we're speaking to that we think we're going to be able to do business with so you can go to the top, create potential at the top, new, a new potential um, and that will find a random potential Keith Benson so we're going to say Keith Benson uh, CCTV system. Now the account name, there is no account so we can either set up an account because it's a res residential, it'll be Keith Benson. Uh, you can put his phone number on his website um, and then you can enter in, in the amount how much do I think that this CCC, CCTV system is going to be worth? So I'm going to put a ballpark figure, three thousand dollars in there. When do I think this potential is going to be closed? When will he sign off? I'm going to say end of November, and I'm going to say that I've already spoken to him, and I've given him a quote. So we've uh, already got all the way through to a quote stage. The next stage is to call Mr. Benson. And if you've got lead sources, a campaign source, you know, if you've done a yellow page ad, uh, website, offers, anything, you can enter campaigns in there and start tracking this interest to that campaign. If you've got a contact name, which obviously we should have, but he's not in there, so we're going to put a new contact. And that is Mr. Keith Benson. He's going to be Keith at Benson.com that's how my customers work. Phone number, you can obviously put anything in there. There's my phone number popped up. Uh, I won't put anything in. <laughs> and uh, install CCTV, CCTV system at Mr. Benson's house. Obviously you can choose to what to put in there as a description. The more information you put in the better. Uh, and the more fields you put in as you put everything in 
is also better as well so as soon as you save that you now have a new potential uh, closing dates and um, if you scroll for your contacts and your accounts you're going to have Mr Benson in there Mr Walcott still as a lead so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in a load more information, dummy information obviously and then I'll come back and show you dashboards and how to tunnel into that information I right, bet welcome back, I've uh, been busy raiding Wikipedia for some random uh, information on people to throw in there as dummy information um, so now I've got a few contacts in, a few potentials and um, this home screen that's the a real easy link to everything I'm going to get rid of because um, you just don't need to see it so what I'm going to do is click on don't show I'm going to click on don't show this screen anymore so we're going to close that one out once it's loaded it'll vanish and it's going to bring up some basic database uh, dashboard stuff so it's showing me open tasks uh, today's leads the pipeline because I've got some potentials in there and uh, different amounts in potentials and closing this month the potentials so you can actually edit these to whatever you want um, so you can uh, you can definitely change so rather than closing this month I'm going to show all potentials because there isn't that many so change that to all potentials and just save it in there so it'll reload it and then all the potentials I've put in there and you can see I've been busy with the Ulster Transport Authority and the Rescue Pets and Keith Benson which were there before uh, today's leads uh, tasks, I haven't put any tasks in yet, we'll do that soon uh, and a pipeline, but you can enter, you can change all these to whatever you want, you can add one, I think you can have it to a 5 there so I might put contacts in uh, just call it all contacts Lay out all contacts and save. And that's put that in right at the top. So I'm going to drag it down here if it'll let me. Oh, it's not going to let me for now. I won't my tinker with it too much. Um, so this is this is going to be your home screen when you first come, uh, when you first log in. Uh, so you're going to see everything you need to do as far as. Uh, is tracking all your customers and doing everything you need to do on a daily basis you've got some recent items over here to jump to which I tend to pin in place so you can see new contacts, new potentials, new campaign everything's all sort of one click away nice and easy to do um, and you can click in so if I go to this Ulster Transport Authority I can see instantly the uh, all the information I need um, for this uh, potential, sorry, uh, and so it says next step is research equipment. So I'll add a new task and uh, research DPS equipment. When do I need to do that? Uh, I need to be done for Friday. I'll leave it as a high priority. Uh, it's not going to be recurring. Oh, so I didn't need to click on that. Uh, and if you want to put anything more in there, you can. That's just going to save. As soon as you save it, you've got an activity there showing that's what you need to do. So if you go back to your home screen, now in that task, whenever I log in to the CRM, I'm going to say, alright, I need to research that. And you can easily put in anything else you want in there so you can um, really have all the information on hand as soon as you log in so that's just the beginning of how you're going to begin to start tracking all your your uh, sales leads customer information contacts potentials campaigns there's so much you can do and this is the free um, the free version where you can get three users for three um, and then when we go into further You'll be able to look at um, invoicing, inventory, they're all add-ons. Uh, we have to pay a little bit more, but it's all worth. Once you've got all this information in there, then it's, it's definitely a nice to add on a few extra things to help everything 
to make your life easier. Okay, so we'll uh, be back shortly with more videos. Thank you.